Tereta, tereta, tereta. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le muva. Las Paragus. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I'm going to be addressing a question that one of my subscribers asked, whether statistics or calculus was more beneficial for PA school. Uh, which one do I recommend for PA school? So I wanted to address this question. I also had this question when I was applying to PA school and when I was choosing the prerequisites to apply to PA schools. Now, some PA schools do require calculus, while some PA schools give you the option to take calculus or statistics. So before you choose your prerequisite or what math class you want to take, make sure you research the schools. And this is sometimes I always tell, what I always tell students that are applying to PA school is that you have to research the school, the schools that you're applying to. It's really, really important, specifically before you submit your CASPA application. And that's what I did because I learned in comparison from the first year to the second year is that the first year I just started applying to PA schools and I wasn't really researching the school, what the requirements were in regards to GPA, in regards to GRE scores, in regards to prerequisites. So I was not research, researching schools at all. So I just submitted my applications and of course I got denied from those schools because I did not have the proper prerequisites or the appropriate GPA or my GPA was not competitive enough for those schools. So I lost money when applying to those schools because some schools, I know when I applied, I think it was like, what, $100 per school to apply to? And then on top of that, you have secondary applications. So PA school applications are very, very expensive. So for you to just be spending money on schools, I mean, you have to be really, really wise before you do that. That way you can save money and you can save your time. So make sure that you Research, research, research schools before you apply to the schools or even before you take certain courses and to ensure that you really, really want to go to that school. So that's also really important. So I learned that the second time I applied because I applied twice. I got rejected the first time from several schools, which I've discussed in other videos. And thankfully, I was accepted on to PA school the second time and I had several interviews the second time around, but I learned um, from the first time. Um, the second time I applied, I made sure I researched the schools, I made sure I had a good GPA because some PA schools do have a GPA cutoff or a GRE score cutoff. So I made sure that my GPA was competitive enough for those schools and my GRE score was competitive enough for the schools. And most importantly, I had the appropriate prerequisite classes for those schools. For example, um, one of the schools that I wanted to apply to in Texas required virology as a prerequisite and I had not taken virology. I had made the mistake of applying to that school the first year and I was rejected of course because I did not have that prerequisite. So that's why it's really important to research those schools. Now this comes into play when you're deciding whether you want to do statistics or calculus. Now, what did I do? I actually ended up taking statistics. So the reason why I ended up taking statistics is that I really, really dislike math and I've struggled with math a lot from high school to college years taking algebra one and two. So when I saw that there was an opportunity to choose whether I wanted statistics or calculus as a prerequisite for my PA school that I wanted to apply to, the one I wanted to get accepted into, or the schools I was interested in, to apply, I decided to take statistics. So I really, really enjoyed statistics and I actually took two statistics classes. I took um, psychiatry statistics and bio statistics and I actually did very well. If I would have taken calculus, I don't think I would have done as well and I would have struggled a lot in that class. Now, speaking in regards to what and how it benefited me in PA school. I have to say that statistics really, really benefited me in PA school. Now, I did not take calculus, but I can say that statistics benefited me in PA school because during my second semester of didactic year, I took a statistics class. So it was called Statistical Methods Research and Statistical Methods. And it was a class that was required for, for our degree, for our PA school degree, and I took it my second semester. And it, being that I had already taken statistics twice, um, psychi 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 psychiatry, 
psychiatry statistics and Bina had already taken bio statistics, I did very well in this class and I was able to get an A. Um, so this class really, really helped me. My statistics class really, really helped me for my statistical methods and research class. So that's why I recommend statistics for PA school. Now that is really up to you um, whether you want to take calculus or not, but in my experience, um, statistics really helped me out when taking my class in PA school. Also, I had several other classes where we had to read research articles and we had to interpret the statistics that the research articles had, um, whether it was in the results and the conclusions. So my statistics class also came into play when analyzing these research papers and when using this class for my, uh, these skills for my research class, which I also had in summer that I just completed. So overall, statistics versus calculus, in my experience, I felt like statistics helped me out a lot. Um, and it wasn't as hard as calculus. And as you know, when applying to PA school, you wanna make sure that you get really good grades in your prerequisite classes. Uh, because these go into your science GPA and you also want to make sure that you get good grades in general overall because it can bump up your overall GPA and we know now that with every year PA school is getting more and more competitive um, and I can say this because we are our school is getting more and more applications and last year I had the opportunity to help my PA program with some of the interviews, whether it was talking to students, etc. And I saw how competitive PA school is getting. So that's why you want to make sure that you get good grades in your prerequisite classes and just in overall your classes so you can increase your GPA. So a good class for that would be statistics. And not only will it help you increase your GPA if you do well, but it all will also help you in PA school in regards to my experience um, and help me in my class in my research and statistical methods class. I also had evidence-based medicine. That's what my second class was, which was during the summer, uh, where, we were, we, where we were required to read research papers and interpret them. And my statistics class also came into play during the summer. So that's why I really, really recommend statistics for PA school. <clears throat> With that saying, it's really important for you to, <clears throat> excuse me, to research the schools you're applying to before you decide whether you're taking calculus or statistics because some schools may prefer calculus over statistics or vice versa. So you wanna make sure that you research the schools you're applying to before you take the classes. All right guys, well thanks for watching my videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, I read all the comments you guys comment and I try to get back to most of the emails that I get, whether it's through my email or through my Instagram account. It's just that sometimes it's really busy in case school, specifically when it comes to finals, where I'm constantly studying, 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 and I have I have no time to check my social media. And I try to up upload videos as much as I can, um, whether it's weekly. So thank you, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys have helped me grow my channel, and I get really happy when I get emails from you saying that you guys got to submit into PA school. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.